Okay, now we're installing a lower ball joint on this 97 Ford. So the first thing we did was, after taking the old one off, it wasn't so bad. But installing the new one is more tricky because you've got the pressure from the springs and you've got your tie rod hooked up. And you're trying to line everything up under here. So the first problem you have is that you have to get a couple of spring compressors, put them on the spring, take the weight off. Now the second thing is that on the on the ball joint itself there's a groove. Now what I did is I put this bolt here through under here first, hooked it up there. And then I used my jack like so to press up on the rotor to line everything up. But you have to press in because everything wants to keep coming out. And then when I finally got that in, when I finally got this in and this, my problem was you have to put a bolt a bolt fits through this groove. So to adjust it, I measured up the old one, lined it up the other one, so I knew where about this groove is because it has, has to be exact. Or it's never going to go through. So I used this fork. to pry in here so I could pry it up and down and get it out. And then of course the original bolt was 17 mil which no problem, we had a wrench full. The new bolts they gave us with the kit were 18. So it's fine how you've got a socket but you can't get a ratchet in here or even to hold it there. So I use the old bolt. So it's up to you if you want to use the old or new, but if you haven't got an 18 mil box and wrench, you're going to have problems. Okay, so I've greased it all up, and that should get rid of our creaking noise. We had lots of creaking noise when you go around the corner, you turn, and you hear clunk, 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 clunk. So I'm pretty sure it was a lower ball joint. So just Remember, see how I did it with the jack? And it'll help you lifting up this assembly. Oh, and to line it up, once I got this one in, I couldn't get the pin, this pin in here, to go in the hole. I couldn't push it back in. What I did was, on here, I used, I used the steering. I turned the steering wheel to the right until this lined up. It all depends on where you, where you start out. But move your steering wheel to the left and to the right and it'll help move this thing in and out and then it'll help line up this, line up this pin down here. Because if you don't, you'll be fighting with it and it's going to be a nightmare. Well, nightmare or a challenge. I guess it all depends on how you look at things. So we've got this back together. I just got to take off these clamps up here. I'm going to oil spray all inside here. I got the wheel off, put it all back together and then we'll take it for a test drive. Okay, that's it for today, and good luck with your bottom ball joint.